yes malaria malaria is what is wrong with you okay yes if you just buy lomatem lomatem then paracetamol ask them to add vitamin c yes vitamin c then <music> Hey guys, good afternoon. It's your girl here again. How do you welcome to the vlog, guys? Hey, and today, 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 I'm here again inside. Yeah, I just want to talk to you about some few things I never knew, or yeah, I never knew about them, or things that um, I got to know here in South Africa that South Africa taught me just in case you've not subscribed please take a few moments to subscribe join the family and put on your notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you will be the first to know so before it let's dive into the video yes let me tell you a little story at a time my mom was down with um um bone pain she just said her bones and it was so intense that yeah it was very very intense now she goes to the doctors they take care of her yet the pains are still there so at the time we thought of what is going on my husband had to do some research and then he discovered these doctors yes and now we looked for those doctors in Nigeria but to no avail we couldn't find because mind you she has been going to the doctors way back in Nigeria different doctors and um, those are I think they are general doctors yes they are general doctors so when my husband googled and um, he found one rheumatologist here in South Africa so now we had to contact them guys those doctors most times they are fully booked so this they told us now that they are fully fully booked so we had to like start waiting and waiting before you knew it it was our turn and they put us on waiting list and then the doctor we told the doctor everything how it is so the doctor told us go and tell your mom he said um, connected to the doctor in Nigeria and told the doctor go for this test go for the other test just like that so my mom went for all of those um, tests so now we told the doctor here the results and everything the doctor said mind you they were telling my mom in nigeria that she had stroke yeah stroke so the doctor said no the doctor invited her and um, he took a second look at my mom's case my <laughs> That same day, it took the doctors like three hours or three, two or three hours. Yeah, we booked for a section, two or three, uh, by about two or three hours. Yeah, so now we booked for the section and the doctor, you see how the doctor, she, my mom told me the doctor was going through all her bones, her veins, everything. He was reading it one after the other. Before you knew it, the doctor injected my mom in her bone. Then we left. My mom, that was numb. Her legs, she was like her legs. She doesn't feel her legs. Her legs are numb. Her hands numb. Revived. Yes, they did. They revived my mom. We, we weren't even home. We were driving back home when she said she thinks that her 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 her. The numbness is, she, she's feeling her body, she's feeling her legs now, and she's feeling her bones, her, yeah, her flesh. Yeah, she says she's feeling like the numbness is kind of wearing off. That same day, these doctors, they are magic. <laughs> that same day, my mom got so better. Before you knew it, she started walking, doing everything she wasn't able to do before. If... It wasn't for that doctor who knows so that's why I feel like ah there are things that I never knew of I thought doctors are doctors I never knew like a doctor like way back in Nigeria if you're sick you just go to the to the hospital 
there's no um uh you i never knew you there's you have to go to this specialty this specialty like you know we just you know just go to the hospital and the, before you know it um the doctor is treating you but here in south africa all doctors they have their own specialty here in south africa the point here guys is always look for the right doctor for the right treatment i'm also talking about prescription hey here in south africa if you are sick you must have the doctor's prescription before you're allowed to buy medication from the pharmacy way back in nigeria if you're sick you just go to the pharmacy yeah where they sell drugs yes you just go there uh, i mean medication in nigeria we say drugs <laughs> but here i got to know they call it medication yes so where they sell medications you just go there and you tell the doctor you tell the pharmacist there um i think my head is hot i think this is wrong with me i think the other is wrong with me they just give you their own thing they just give you their own thing and you go back home you take your medication but here it is not like that irrespective of whatever is wrong with you in nigeria we we'll first go to the pharmacy we we'll first like you're buying self medications yeah you just go there they see they start giving you giving you giving you. it is when it has reached here <laughs> the medication that they work oh. before you now tell yourself okay let me go to the doctor and see yeah but here in south africa it is not like that you have to go to the doctor first in as much as you're sick first thing go to the doctor the doctor gives you prescription before you can buy any medication that is what i got to know that is what i and i feel like it is the best because now i mean nigeria i just go to the pharmacy because in nigeria you even think you don't want to waste your money yes now why would you go to the doctor so you now first of all go and pay for doctor then the, then the doctor will not, then doctor gives you um just to give you paper then you then take it to the pharmacy before you buy medication no we don't want to waste money you just go to the pharmacy tell them what is wrong with you and the pharmacy give you in the, the um sorry give you they just go to their counter they give you this give you this give you that those are blind treatments there man they are blind treatments because you just go you, sometimes you are sick with malaria they, they no typhoid in your blood bloodstream they will give you malaria and typhoid medication together. Oh yeah, go and take it. You'll be like, ah, you think I have a... You say, yes, now malaria go with typhoid. <laughs> They'll tell you, it's malaria versus typhoid together. Once you have malaria, then you can... Oh, ma don't, I just feel like malaria is it's when female mosquito beats you, then you can um, acquire malaria yeah so what has it got to do with maybe typhoid it's when you maybe you drink contaminated water yes i feel that's when i don't know i'm not a doctor but i just feel they are not they are two different things but this time they just give you all the medication together they say just go and take it in case it is typhoid then you're already taking the typhoid medication then you just drink it and then you, you are away then in case it is malaria <laughs> <laughs> you just you just um um drink it because i remember i took my baby to the hospital so now i told the 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 doctor um i think my baby has um um this so the doctor was like i'm checking her there's nothing like that there why are you thinking you you don't think you have to know how do you know they must take the baby's blood to have those texts before you can know you, they cannot just give you antibiotics but in Nigeria here so because before you can get antibiotics here in South Africa you must go to the doctor it must be on doctor's prescription yes but in Nigeria you just go pharmacy now you buy your, your antibiotics you are taking your antibiotics they'll come and paracetamol join up for you yes now they will add paracetamol for you then they will add malaria medicine and typhoid medicaments in 
<laughs> his medication. <laughs> they will add all of them, all of them, all of them together. Then you start drinking it. Yes, in case maybe it is um, your body needs, um, what is it called? Um, yeah, if your body needs mm, antibiotics because you already have it there. Then if your body needs um, anesthetics, you already have it there. That's the paracetamol, all those painkillers. You know how it is. So that's why they just give you everything. Orishi, orishi. You just take everything. You drink it once so that all the 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 fever, anything that might be wrong with you, because mark you this time, nobody knows what's wrong with you because you've not done any tests. So we just buy um, um, Panadol. Or uh, that's panado. That's what they call panado here in Nigeria. We say panado or paracetamol. Just buy the. Yeah, they know how to mismatch everything. They just give it to you. Yeah, you just go and you take it. So, but here in South Africa, no, 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 no. You cannot just take antibiotics. Mm -mm. The doctor has to prescribe antibiotics for you before you can take antibiotics. So that's how it is about prescription here in South Africa. In Nigeria, we prescribe for ourselves. Yes, if I'm sick, I can just go there. I'll tell the doctor, I'll say, no worry, that malaria, they worry me. Give me that malaria medicine. Give me the malaria. In yes, that, you see that one there? Bring it, bring it, bring me, bring it. When I get home, I just take it. Okay, I'll tell her, so yeah, add paracetamol, Jenna. Give me paracetamol. We'll add paracetamol, Jenna. I'll say, bless say my bone. I felt I like I had um, some, yeah, even the, the pharmacy will even tell you, say, so, okay, you just add, um, um, what's it called? Antibiotics, they will just add amoxicillin joiner for you. So everything you just take, just take her. So at the end of the day, whether any of the one that is wrong, you know how they be now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone where they worry because you don't take everything now. Yes, now you take everything. So, anyone where they worry you, I told you guys you will learn <laughs> Nigeria language. <laughs> it is called Pidgin English in Nigeria. It's kind of English, but um, you know how it is. We, we twist the English. That's what we call slang. Yeah. I don't know if um, South Africans have slang. My brother's wife, she's from Durban, she already understands it, like she speaks it. <laughs> that girl, <laughs> she speaks, she, right now, she'll say yes now, she, she just speak and die, like she speaks it so well, even <laughs> I would say more than me, she's, we like the way we speak together, you would think she's from Nigerian, she's from Nigeria, so she also, yeah, she's Nigerian now, because, yeah. We married her, we paid in full. So she's my wife. So she speaks my language fluently. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, guys. It's only in Nigeria you will see a, a, a Haba doctor. I don't know if they have it here. Haba doctor will tell you. Um, maybe in Nigeria we call it Agbo. It's, it's kind of a mixture. Maybe when you are sick, you can buy it, drink it. Only one bottle. That one bottle will tell you it cures rheumatism. That one bottle, it cures headache. That one bottle, it cures back pain. It cures stroke. It's everything. <laughs> Madam, I said, you give me medication for back pain. It will give you this one. Madam, okay, another... Uh, okay, not be back pain. Um, okay, let, I have... Okay, madam, I have back pain, I have um, stroke, I have um, headache. You go tell you, say, no worry, just take this one. They cure everything. Everything, they inside just this. Really? <laughs> they will tell you everything. Just, okay, now you are giving me one bottle. Madam, oh, ma, ma, I just told you I have got three different illness in my body and you're giving me just this one bottle yes that is what i'm trying to say that's how they put everything yeah because you know it has already missed everything together paracetamol is inside back pain is inside for stroke is inside so they'll just give you say take don't worry go drink and go walk everything is gone it will cure you from all <laughs> the illness <laughs> For real, for real. <laughs>
That's how it works. There. <laughs> the lawyers, eh? In South Africa, I got to know that you have different kind of lawyers that maybe you 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 want like you have different kind of lawyers like the family lawyers, you have the immigration lawyers, like just different kind of lawyers. You have the business lawyers here in South Africa. Maybe you are into business, you have the kind of lawyers that will back you up, like back your business up, that advises you on business. I never knew. In Nigeria, hey, maybe you need lawyer. You just go to that place and say lawyer they there. Yes, you just go there. Even if you want to divorce, they do it. Yes, if you want to divorce <laughs> I've not. Been, I've never been divorced. I don't know how it is, but I know <laughs> you don't have to go and look for a different lawyer. They, they do everything because we just know that this person is a lawyer. So you feel like, and yeah, the person will not tell you I don't do it, or maybe refer you like how they do in South Africa. In South Africa, they will tell you, oh no, I'm 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 um, just a family lawyer. Yes, I'm not a criminal lawyer. Yes, you have to go and uh, get a criminal lawyer to do any criminal case with you or um, um, a family lawyer to do any family case with you. Maybe you are having a divorce or maybe you yeah, are pertaining to that or a business lawyer to do any business um, um, work with you. Like, I know you know what I mean. I know that you understand. <laughs> yes, that is how it is here in South Africa. They just kind of different lawyers. You just go there. You get your different different lawyers. You have maybe or the immigration lawyers that has to do with yeah, your immigration stuff, your paperwork and all of it. That's how it is over um here in South Africa, so you have different law. But in Nigeria, Omo, you go tell you say, I not be you want divorce. I they do one. Yes, now I can do it. Yes, now because he's a lawyer. So you on your own, you think okay, he's a lawyer now. So uh -huh. so I never knew on me like me. I never knew. I used to think that if he's a lawyer, he's a lawyer. He should be able to help me. If he's a lawyer, he's a lawyer. If I have any case with um, the police or, yeah, he should be able to help me. If he's a lawyer, he's a lawyer. If maybe I want to do immigration work, he should be able to help me. If I'm opening a business, I need a lawyer to a lawyer's advice. Because he is a lawyer, I will still go there for him to help me. So I never knew that you have maybe different lawyers like the way it is here. South Africa made me like, I feel like coming like South Africa made me know my right from my left. If you understand what I'm trying to say, they make me know that this is your right. Way back in Nigeria, I never knew I had rights. I don't know anything about rights. Like you just leave. Yeah, yeah, you just leave. I, for one, I was just leaving. I never knew that this, like, things are really done um, accordingly the way I know now that it is. And you know, so very many persons, like, in the old, like, they, they, they died not knowing the right things that you as a, uh, a, a being, like, you as a human being, your rights. You, yeah, yeah, if I make sense, yeah, like if I, okay, now I need a lawyer for my business, I'll go consult a family lawyer, somebody who does divorce. But now I didn't know, you have to know that this, and one thing about Nigeria, they would, they, he, he would tell you he does it because he's a, I mean, I'm a lawyer because why they don't want you to take that money to the next person but south africa made it a way that if you are not doing it you are not doing it it is not your duty they will tell you that no this they don't care about your money how much you're bringing to them no they don't care about the money they care about you your well-being like in nigeria they care about the money he will take the money from you first before you come they now come they discuss <laughs> 
Yes. Then both of you will start discussing if he is able to do that thing or is not able to do. Or my no even tell you say no. Yes, I know tell you say no. Sabiam, they won't tell you they don't know how to do it. That's what I'm trying to say. They will do it. They will tell you. Ah, ah will they do am now? If okay, everything you do, he will tell you. Yes, we they do am now. Yes, and we have the gynecologist. Hey. It was when I got to South Africa, I got to know that if you are pregnant, they assigned you to a gyna. Yes, now. They must take you to a gyna to take care of the, the child. And when you give birth, there's another doctor. Hey, please comment down in the comment section. Let me know what it's called. Then they, tell, they take you to another doctor that takes care of mother and child. Yes. Yeah, that's how it is done here. When you're pregnant, a guy now is taking care of you. Yes. Then when you give birth, I think they say postnatal. Yes. English hard. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they call her, but I know that they say post something, sha, post something. Yes, then it's another kind of doctor that would then take care of you, mother and child. Yes. I don't know how. Yeah, that's how it is. But for Nigeria, not be so that they do am. Yes, now I like maybe let me not generalize it. I don't know about now, but what I got to know of is if you are pregnant, you can go to the doctor, and um, the doctor can take care of you. Yes. You can, the doctor can take care of you. If you have give birth, it's that same doctor that took care of you, that will still continue taking care of you, if I make sense. Yes, that's how it is. I didn't, and they, they, I never knew about gyna, that you have to see a gynecologist or, uh, yeah. That's how it works. They, 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 one doctor can take care of you. You can be taking care of your whole family, even when you get pregnant. Is that the doctor they treat you? When you, or you can, you might not even go for a doctor. Even nurse, a nurse can be treating you when you are pregnant. You can go to the nurse. See, they are that place. Maybe they have maternity, maternity. I don't know how they call it, maternity. Yeah. To, to, you can go there to give birth and it's the same nurse that is taking care of you. Yeah. In South Africa, a nurse works in the hospital. They don't have, I've never seen, yeah. You must go to the hospital when you are pregnant and you must see a gynecologist, not nurses. Yes, if I if I make sense, yeah, you must see a gynecologist, not nurses. The nurse, the nurse will tell you. It, the, the the nurse will just take your vitals and still yet send you to a gyna that would check you. That is how it works here. But Nigeria is the other way around. I can just get a nurse and um, I'm going to his farm or her pharmacy and uh, maternity. Maternity, yeah. Until I give birth, he will be the one to take care of me or she. We have male nurses there in Nigeria. They will be the one to take care of you until they give you give birth. And after you give birth, you will still be going there. You yet go there. He continues taking care of you. The your baby is grown. Yeah. That one doctor or nurse or doctor per se. Not only that one person. That's the person that is taking care of you. Yeah. That's how it works there. So, you know, they work for you. If I say nurse, they don't take care of you. Yeah, they would assign you to a doctor, a gyna, being pregnant.